Lesson 12 Unity of the Blessed Trinity And the Catholic faith is this, that we worship one God in Trinity, and Trinity in unity, neither confounding the persons nor dividing the substance. But the Godhead of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit is one, the glory equal, the majesty co-eternal. The Father is made none, neither created nor begotten. The Son is of the Father alone, not made nor created, but begotten. The Holy Spirit is of the Father and the Son, not made nor created nor begotten, but proceeding. And in this Trinity nothing is afore or after, nothing is greater or less, but the whole three persons are co-eternal together and co-equal. From the Athanasian Creed. Are the three divine persons perfectly equal to one another? The three divine persons are perfectly equal to one another because all are one and the same God. Such as the Father is, such is the Son, and such is the Holy Spirit. The Father uncreated, the Son uncreated, and the Holy Spirit uncreated. The Father infinite, the Son infinite, and the Holy Spirit infinite. The Father eternal, the Son eternal, and the Holy Spirit eternal. And yet they are not three eternals, but one eternal. As also there are not three uncreated, nor three infinite, but one uncreated, and one infinite. The Athanasian Creed. All three persons are equal in every way, equal in power and glory. The attributes and external works of God are common to all three persons. However, in human speech, we attribute certain works to each person. Thus we attribute to the Father the works of creation, to the Son the work of redemption, and to the Holy Spirit the work of sanctification. In reality these works belong equally to all three. How are the three divine persons, though really distinct from one another, one and the same God? The three divine persons, though really distinct from one another, are one and the same God because all have one and the same divine nature. Each of the divine persons is God. So the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. And yet they are not three gods, but one God. For... Like as we are compelled by Christian truth to acknowledge every person by himself to be God and Lord, so are we forbidden by the Catholic religion to say there be three gods or three lords. There are three persons, but only one being. The Father is neither, neither the Son nor the Holy Spirit. The Son is neither the Father nor the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is neither the Father nor the Son. It was the Son who became man and died for us, not the Father or the Holy Spirit. But when we receive God the Son in Holy Communion, we also spiritually receive God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. The Blessed Trinity then dwells in us as in a temple. Can we fully understand how the three divine persons, though really distinct from one another, are one and the same God? We cannot fully understand how the three divine persons, though really distinct from one another, are one and the same God, because this is a supernatural mystery. A supernatural mystery is a truth which we cannot fully understand, but which we firmly believe because we have God's word for it. A supernatural mystery is above reason, but not contrary to it. No man can explain a mystery neither can anyone know it unless it is revealed by God. To understand a mystery, a finite mind would have to comprehend the infinite. It is not unreasonable to believe in a supernatural mystery. There are many natural mysteries around us that no one has yet been able to explain. Yet we believe them, electricity, magnetism, force, and many of the processes of life. The doctrine of the Blessed Trinity is a strict mystery. That is, we cannot learn it from reason, nor understand it completely, even after it has been revealed to us. 
The doctrine contains two truths our reason cannot fully understand. One, that there is only one God, and two, that each of the three persons is God. We can understand each of these truths separately, but not when taken together. The mystery of the Blessed Trinity is not a contradiction. We do not say that there are three gods and one God, nor that the three divine persons are one person. We only say that there are three persons and one God, that is, three persons and one nature or essence. Somewhat similarly, the soul of man has will, understanding, and memory, but it is only one soul. Why do we believe in the mystery of the Blessed Trinity? We believe in the mystery of the Blessed Trinity because God himself revealed it to us. It would be foolish to refuse to believe just because we cannot understand. That would be like a blind man who refuses to believe there is a sun because he cannot see it. Is God limited because we are? The mystery of the Trinity was only revealed in the New Testament period. Therefore, we would not expect to find references to it in the Old Testament. God had to prepare his people gradually for the revelation of his truths. Our Lord Jesus Christ revealed the mystery. He said, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. But when the Advocate has come, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will be a witness concerning me. The Blessed Trinity manifested itself at the baptism of Jesus Christ. God the Father spoke from the heavens. God the Son was baptized. God the Holy Spirit descended in visible form in the form of a dove. When do we profess our faith in the Blessed Trinity? We profess our faith in the Blessed Trinity, especially when we make the sign of the cross. We also honour the Blessed Trinity every time we say the doxology or prayer of praise, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. The Feast of the Blessed Trinity, called Trinity Sunday, is kept on the first Sunday after Pentecost. All the sacraments are administered in the name of the Blessed Trinity. On our deathbed, the church through the priest will comfort us with the words, Even though, the, even though he hath sinned, he hath not denied the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.